Hey everyone, um, I was on my way to the, to my friend's house, personal trainer's house to, to get a workout in and, um, I just felt so overwhelmed with emotion that I needed to pull over and, and, um, and talk about it. Um, I understand how dark the world may feel right now. I understand how much suffering is going on. I understand the macro and, and micro and micro, excuse me, struggles others are facing. I also understand that. It's all happening for a reason. And that this life as a whole is a classroom. Our soul signed up for this human experience to learn. And we sign up for the challenges, the hardships, and the beauties and successes. Because it teaches us the lesson we're meant to learn for this time around in the classroom. And what makes this classroom, this life so great is that At any moment, there can feel as if there's so much going against us. And the lesson we have to learn is to take that power back. I believe pain in this life is inevitable because that's part of the lesson. But the real lesson for this classroom experience is to realize that the suffering that takes place due to that pain is optional. The attachment we have towards something being a certain way, and if it's not this way, we're not safe, we're not loved, all of that is untrue. And the moment you understand that is the moment you take your power back that allows you to literally create whichever life you could ever imagine however you want it to be you take back all of your energy and then you can focus it on exactly what you want to create in this world everything in your life has told you how it must be But the path I've been on, I, I guess my whole life, but definitely the past three to four years has led me to this moment of not only conceptually understanding, but fully feeling and embodying that more than we could ever <laughs> even fathom, we are the creators of our own reality. And understanding that, or understanding that everything is happening for us, and not to us, but for us, it's a lesson we're meant to learn in this classroom. Understanding and embodying those two concepts is enlightenment. And enlightenment, whether people are aware of it, conscious of it or not, 
that is the state of being that we all are yearning for. A state of being of true freedom. Of true love, peace, and bliss. In every moment. And you can look at the darkness of this world and see its necessity in this classroom. This classroom of life. You can look at the tragedies and you can also look at the beauties and see it all as a necessary part of this experience. And when you see it through a lens of beauty, a lens of love, it no longer has any power over you. It's as if you you transcend the suffering. Because when you see everything as a lesson as soon as it's happening to you or for you, it holds no weight over you. So no person, no no government, no <laughs> nothing is in your way from having the human experience that feels right to you. The path towards enlightenment is a subtraction process. It's a removal process. It's a subtraction of all the programs all of the conditioning we've been given our entire lives about how the world is and how we must act. But there is no way. There is no the way. There's all a way. It's all up to you. There are no rules. Truly. And I mean that in the most literal sense. We are much more powerful than we could ever imagine but we've just forgotten. We've just forgotten. And when you feel the way I feel at this very moment, you understand the rest of your life will be guiding others to get to this, to get to here right now. How I feel. I feel true freedom. True love for myself and everyone, everything. I have let go of all the stories about how I believe the world works. I believe we need to behave in society. How I believe our biology works. How <laughs> everything. You take back all your power. You take back everything you never knew is even stripped from you. And more people realizing this will empower them, will literally give them the energy to create the world. That is heaven on earth for everyone. I understand how crazy this is going to sound to the far majority of you. I get that. I understand half of you think I've gone insane. I get it. And I know some of you feel what I'm feeling right now. But man, I promise you. Tomorrow will be better. I promise you that this moment right now our universe every person on average 
is vibrating on a higher frequency than ever before. The collective consciousness is rising. And what that means is that we are incrementally alleviating our own suffering and we're turning back to our default state of bliss, peace, happiness, fulfillment, all the, all the, all the words we, we've all been, been chasing, whether we know it or not. Yeah, it's, it's just time to let go. It's time to fully love ourselves, truly. Because we can only love others to the same level of which we love ourselves. And <laughs> The world, the universe is calling for us to step into that. And to love others more than ever before, to serve others more than ever before. That's the only way we get, we get through this. Whatever this is. So whenever I have these moments where I'm driving on the freeway and it just bursts into tears because of the emotions I'm feeling, I'm going to pull it aside. I'm going to talk to him because I'm feeling him for a reason. And um, I know one of you, the one of you this is going to resonate with at least. And it's okay if I look completely insane to the 99% if that one person, <laughs> that one person gets it. And even if no one understands, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it literally does not matter. <laughs> so it's time to let go of whatever's not serving us. I love you all, unconditionally. I love you so much. Have a great day. The future looks bright.